Lies we've all been told as a kid. I can guarantee that most of you watching this video have been told these lies before in your life. Whether it was your school teacher, your parents, I don't know who told you this. But it's bull. I don't know why they're telling you this. Anyways, the first lie we got on the list today is don't sit too close to the TV. You'll damage your eyes if you do that. Oh, really? Then it must be some sort of miracle how I'm not blind yet. I'm sitting in front of a PC monitor pretty close to my face right now. And I spend a lot of time editing these videos despite the really low quality. I just can't draw if my life depended on it. I'm sorry. Uh, bro, everybody's looking at their phone every day. What do you mean? We would sitting too close to the TV screen. We practically have a screen in front of our face 24-7 at this point. Like, bro, what are you even talking about? I'm looking down at the points I have listed. I don't know how I made sense of any of this. Next up, we got violence is not the answer. Well, sometimes it's not. I'm sorry. But if some dude throws a punch at me, bro, I'm not letting it slide. Like, that's just not happening. I'm not trying to take a one-two to the face and then just walk away with a swollen eye, man. Like, I don't want to let that happen. Like, if I have a younger sibling or something and they get beat up, man, I gotta protect them. I gotta do the most to protect them. Bro, how do sports like karate or, like, boxing exist if violence isn't the answer? You know what I mean? Like, that's just stupid. My teachers would tell me shit like that at school, but my dad told me, never let anything slide. And I was like, bet, you right. And when a kid tried to mess with my friend one day, I beat his ass. That's exactly what I did. I mean, shit, I had to do it. Fourth grade me really thought I was gonna be the next Muhammad Ali because I beat up some scrawny kid on the playground. Hey, I know that sounds terrible, but shit, I gotta teach him a lesson. You know what I'm saying? Next up, we got the family pet. Now, I don't know what your parents told you, but my parents told me something along the lines of this when my pet goldfish died. Birdie, I know. It's really sad. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. He's in goldfish heaven now. <laughs> Let's be honest with ourselves. That did not help the situation at all. I was still distraught. I was in tears over my dead goldfish, man. It, it really was traumatic. Or sometimes parents will say to their kids that like their hamster Gilbert is out in the wild or something. Like, no the hell he's not. Like that dude Gilbert gonna get torn apart in the wild. Like at that point, you might as well just tell him. Gilbert is not making it out the mud, bro. He's gonna get eaten alive. He's living out in the wild. Like really? That, that, that's one I just didn't get at all. The next one, I don't know how I believe this one. I don't know who told me this. It was probably one of my friends at the time. This dude told me that watermelon seeds grow in your stomach. How did that make sense in my child mind? Like, if that was the case, there'd be a bunch of fat people walking around. You know what I mean, bro? I don't know how the hell I believe this. So every time I did eat a watermelon seed, I would be scared for a couple days. I'd be like, oh, it's gonna grow in me. There, there, there's, a, there's a chance. It could. I don't know. Me and this kid were like dumb and dumber. I don't know how the hell I believed it. Like my dumb ass somehow believed this stupid lie. Next up we got school drills will keep you safe. No, they will not. Bro, we just need a different procedure at this point, bro. Like if the building catches fire, bro, I'm hopping out that bitch, bro. I'm not, I'm not trying to sit inside and risk my life. Who do you think I am? There would be no birdie videos to this day if my school caught fire and we had to sit there and wait to line up. I'm not doing that. I'm hopping out the window. I'm not taking any chances. And if some boy pull up with a Nerf gun to school, man, I'm not, I'm not sitting in the corner. Hell nah. Like I'm huddled up with all these dudes that are out here playing like some stupid shit during the lockdown. One time there was this dude who played like pumped up kicks during a lockdown at my school and we were there for like an hour. So it was a pretty serious drill. So I was like, shit, I could, I could actually die today just because of this kid. If the school threat hears this, I'm fucked. One time they brought like this trailer at my school and we all had to walk in the trailer. It was like the sketchiest thing known to man. We walk in and there's smoke. It was like supposed to be emulating like if there was a fire and they told us stop, drop and roll. Now, I don't know how valid this was, but it sounds really stupid. But you think I'm gonna sit around and test these theories? Hell nah, bro. I'm out that bitch. Like they really think I'm out here playing around. That's crazy. Next one we got eating carrots helps your vision. Again, I don't know how I believe this, but I did. So my ass was going crazy in the fridge, just fiending on carrots. Despite how gross they tasted to me at the time as a kid, I still ate them because I thought they were helping my eyesight. And every day I would test my eyesight to see if I could read something from far away. And I'd be like, oh, yes, my eyes are actually getting better. No way. Man, I was on a whole nother level of dumbassery, bro. How does it get to this point? I was really testing it and everything. Well, actually, my eyesight got 0.0001% better. I was doing the calculations and everything. Next up, we got video games will rot your brain. Oh, really? 
then how the hell am I still alive? I would play video games sometimes upwards of like six hours a day when I was a kid. I would be playing Mario Galaxy for like hours and hours a day, Mario Kart DS and everything like that. The classics, man, the fire ass games. You know, I'm a fully functioning human being somehow. Actually, I don't know about that one, but I somehow have a good GPA in school and I really don't care about it that much. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sweating in school or anything. I'm just trying to get by. But point being, if I was playing too much Plants vs. Zombies as a kid, my parents and especially my grandparents would tell me that, oh, too much video games, that, that will rot your brain. I mean, sure, too much isn't good for you, but it's not gonna rot your brain. I'm glad I actually never believed this lie, but I was smart enough to know it was a lie. Somehow I believed that one, but dozens of other lies, they just went right over my head. Next up we got, you're gonna need math when you're older. No, you're not. I'm gonna tell you that right now. You only really need basic math in your life. That's really it. Like you don't need any other quadratic formula, geometry, and this other bullshit. You need none of that. I cannot tell you the last time I've ever had to use the quadratic formula. And despite that, I still remember it. Oh shit, do you know how to change a tire? I'm not gonna lie, man. I think we're stuck here. But I do know the Pythagorean theorem. It's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Yeah, I don't know how the hell I still remember that. And maybe it's because they just drilled it into my head. Bro, I don't know how to pay my taxes, but I know that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, bro. This shit's useless as fuck. Like, I don't know. Not just math. Basically, most classes. Next one's also school related that you need to go to college to have a good job. And I'm not gonna lie to you. That's not always the case. But you know, if your passion lies there, then go to college. But if not, I'm gonna be honest with you. There's really no point. After classes, I don't even know what the fuck's going on. Like, there's some bullshit going on, clearly. But this dude basically put up a video. It was like a parody of Robin Thicke's blurred lines, but except that there was men walking around, like, almost naked. Now, I was like, what the hell is going on in this class? Like, seriously, I can't be the only one that's sitting here. So I just looked at my brother and I was like, what the hell is this? We're supposed to be getting a job after this. We're supposed to be thrown in the working world. Like, what am I going to say in my application? Well, actually, I can tell you that Robin Dick's blurred lines. Like, no, it's not going to help me, dude. Next one is you have to wait an hour after eating to go swimming. Yeah, this was a really common one, especially in my family. Because, bro, I was a fiend for that pool. I would be drinking pool water. I don't know why I would drink pool water. Water, I would just do it. I lived in the pool. You bet your ass when I got that pool. I was like staying in it like all day. And you know, if I could go in the pool year round, oh, I would. I would be going to the pool in the middle of a 30 degree winter day. Oh, you bet your ass I am. I'm getting my bathing suit on right now. That's what I would have said. Even if the water was frozen solid, I would somehow find a way to swim in the water. They just said this to keep me out of the pool. I'd get it if it was like, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. Sure, that's fair. But an hour? Like, nah, that's way too much, bro. I'm not waiting a goddamn hour. Are you kidding me? Next up is Stranger Danger. Now, in some cases, this one was true, okay? There's some weirdos out there. But for the most part, people aren't dangerous. But now we're literally meeting strangers off like social media. Like, it's crazy. Like, people are going on dating apps and shit and meeting people from Tinder. And honestly, I have my fair share of good and bad experiences with dating apps. But I mean, half the time when you use dating apps, you'll probably end up back in square one with no girls. And trust me, I can tell you from experience, the apple a day keeps the doctor away. Nah, bro, we can not be serious with this one. It doesn't matter what I'm eating every day. If I didn't nick avocado mukbang, I'm gonna have to see a doctor. And obviously, I'm gonna have to see a doctor more frequently and if, if I eat like that. But it's not gonna keep the doctor away if I eat a goddamn apple. And even if I was eating a nick avocado diet, oh no, I just ate an apple. So everything's good now. Like, what? That one just made no sense, bro. And for a less honorable mention, we were all told about Santa, the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy, the goddamn elf on the shelf, you know. And the elf on the shelf was just an op, bro. All right. Like, I don't know what my parents were doing placing that motherfucker in my room at like 12 o'clock at night. Want another video to watch? Watch this video on screen. Anyways, I'm out. Bye.